Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. I'm Zan and this is the HZ show. Um, we've got a, a guest here today is brother uh, Sayyid Murtaza from Watford is it? From Watford. From Watford. How are you brother? I'm alright bro, how are you? I'm, okay. I'm good, it's nice to have you here. Really do no, appreciate no. you coming down. Pleasure your time man. to join us on the show today. I mean, well normally it's a HNZ show but there's no H today. Inshallah I think, um, I don't know where he is. Today is the H&M It's the H&M show today. So if we can change that down at the bottom brothers, please do so. But as everyone knows, today is a special program. It's an extended program. Normally we're on 8 till 9. So I think half of our viewers are not even tuned in, tuned in yet to see if we're on or not. But inshallah, if you're watching, yeah, we're on 8 um, from now till about 9 o'clock inshallah today is a special program about the month of Shaban. So inshallah, we'll be talking a lot about that. And as you all know, you've always got a chance to win a prize. Let's show all the viewers this week. This week's prize is double um, the normal week than what we give is um, £25 voucher. But this week, it's a £50 gift voucher for you. So if you want to grab that, you can spend that on www.myshop14.com which sells um, pendants, books, abayas. And um, for you out there's loads of different varieties of stuff out there. If you want a chance of winning that, you always know we send, uh, set up a quiz question at the start of the program. But today is a bit different. We are not setting a quiz question. If you want to know how you can win, uh, how you can win that voucher this week, keep tuned in and watch. And inshallah, in a short while, we'll let you know how you can have a chance of winning that fifty-pound voucher. Brother Murtaza, um, I don't know if a lot of people know about yourself. If you can just share a bit about your background, your upbringing. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, my name is Muhammad Murtaza uh, Nakbi. Um, I was born in Watford, raised in Watford. I went to Pakistan for a year, you know, to tell you about my background. I came back from Pakistan and I lived the majority of my life um, in the UK, um, specifically in Watford. Um, and then obviously I went through the educational system. Uh, I've done my BA in Islamic Studies and Arabic Language. Inshallah. Then I've done a Master's um, in Religious and Theology. Um, I've lectured in uh, Canada, Australia, New York, um, yeah, so America, Scotland, all over the UK. So yeah, that, that's me. That's, that's, that's me. Um, in terms of personality, I would like to describe myself as a very friendly person. And uh, yeah. That's that I can confirm because I just met brother today, um, well, properly for the first time. We spent <laughs> a bit of time together and he's definitely very friendly. It's nice to have you on a program, brother. Um, I think you've been on once before as well. How was the experience? Yeah, the experience is good. Uh, at that time, there was uh, H, so it was H&M show. Today is the ZN M show. Oh yeah, ZN. I said H and M show before. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. ZN and ZN show. <laughs> yeah, so ZN M show today. So you know, hopefully one day we can do a H and Z show, and then I'll be a special guest. Inshallah, <laughs> we'll do a H, Z, and M show. How's that? Inshallah. Inshallah. Everyone watching out there, as you know, we always talk, pick a topic, and talk around it. And um, this week's topic is going to be based on the holy month of Shaban. Um, as you all know, we always start with Hadith of the Week. So if you can share with the viewers the Hadith of this week, which is by the Holy Prophet wasallam, in which he says, Verily Shaban is my month, therefore may Allah have mercy upon him who helps me undertake my month. Write this down. We always like to give Hadith to the viewers out there. I want to remember something that you can implement into your life. Yeah. So Brother Murtaza, what can we learn from this Hadith and how can we implement it into our lives? Well, you know, with this hadith, like there was a lot of things that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam done within the month of Sha'ban, and obviously, when it was the month of Sha'ban, he used to encourage the people to fast and give in charity because there's infinite benefit to it. And in terms of hadith, we can mention a little bit later because I've got a number of hadith as well to talk about in terms of fasting and the benefits of fasting. In terms of, you know, for example, entering paradise, um, having a nurani face on the day of Qiyamah or for example the grave when you're in your grave for it to become wide there's things that you should do in the month of Sha'ban but in terms of you know this specific hadith you know how can you help Rasulullah you know be within this month simply you know you do the things that the Prophet did and I think one of the main things and I'm sure you've got men, many hadith that we were talking to prior to the show that you know charity is you know the infinite blessing of charity in this month is absolutely amazing and also, it's a prerequisite, isn't it? You Definitely. know, many, many people are saying to us already, you know, oh, how are we going to do Ramadan? It's going to be so hard. 17 hour, 18 hour shift at work and then 17, 18 hour shift of Rodha or fasting as well. So, you know, that, that's the thing. You know, this is what it is. It's, it's preparation now. 
this is the time to prepare Rajab and Sha'ban are the months to prepare for Ramadan there you go so it makes Ramadan much easier for yourselves if you already start and getting into that mode of fasting in this month doesn't mean you have to fast every day because obviously that you can do because that's what the Prophet used to do but you can fast on a Monday and a Thursday it's highly recommended to fast it on, on these days in the month of Sha'ban especially a Thursday because that was the day that the angels decorate Jannah on a first, every Thursday in Sha'ban so a lot of blessings in this month but I can feel a bit of an Earthquake, can you brother? I don't know, I can feel something's happening. Yeah, I think something is happening. I don't know, I can just... What? Something, I don't, something's something. not right, I can't, I can't say anything. Something's going, something's happening. Something's happening. I wonder what it is. What, it is? what is it? Happening? What's up? Oh, is, is it? oh my days, look who it is. Alaykum, brother. Why you, come on brother, you got... What's up? Okay, right. We're joined by H himself. Not just me, you guys are the main superstars. <laughs> no, 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 no. How are you, brother? Assalamu alaikum, viewers, and assalamu alaikum to all my colleagues as well. How are you guys? Alhamdulillah. Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, looking fresh. Sorry I joined you guys late, <laughs> but I've just finished from work, so I thought I'd come in now. MashaAllah, that's very good to see you here joining us. Um, uh, well, inshallah, we'll be here every week. Of course, we'll be here every week. Inshallah, we'll try. This week, it was this work came in the way. Inshallah, we can come on time. <laughs> we'll be here, I'm here now, and so you were saying some very, some very good points about this hadith, so continue talking. Please. So yeah, we were talking about the month of Shaban and obviously all the benefits and the rewards that um, Allah has bestowed upon us in mm -hmm. this month, and we should take advantage of this, shouldn't we, Brother uh, Murtaza? Definitely, not only that, you know, the celebrations within this month, you know, for example, Laylatul Bara'a is here, and also you have, for example, the 15th of Shaban, as each and every one of us know, Imam Mahdi, Ajallah Faraj of Sharif, in relation to his day. And also, you know, the birthdays of Ali Akbar, the birthday of the third Imam, the fourth Imam, you know, Ghazi Abbas alayhi salam. There's so many birthdays, you know, it's, it's, it's just a good month. It's a happy month. It's a happy month. Some people say, why are we fasting when it's so happy? You know, yeah. we need to keep off those pounds as well, you know. <laughs> and living in the UK, you know, mashallah. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that, to be honest. It's a month in which, I think it's the only month in which there's no shahada. So it is a happy month for us all, so we should make the most of it as well. Definitely, no doubt. So, inshallah, it. that's why we are all here today. Brother's looking very nice in his white shirt today. I've just come from where that's what it is. Mashallah, it's good to see you all. So, Brother um, Murtaza, if you can share with us, I mean, some of the important factors in Shaban, how yeah. can we prepare ourselves? What is the importance of fasting in this month? Mm. Well, there's, there's a number of things, like there's a number of hadith that I, I saw whilst I was researching this as well. But first things first, I think, one of the most neglected things that we have within our communities, I think, is prayer. You know, everyone fasts in Ramadan and mm -hmm. to a certain degree, people do keep the fast, the three fasts before yeah. uh, Ramadan, which is very vital as well, the three days before, you know, it's a very highly recommended act. But I think one thing we, we, we don't focus on a lot is prayer. And I think um, in Sha'ban especially, there's so much blessings because this is the month of who? The month of Rasulullah as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if it's the Rasulullah's month, that means who is Rasulullah effectively? Rahmatul Alameen. You know, so he gives that blessing. So, you know, one hadith that I found um, from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself is that if a person recites four units of prayer in the month of Sha'ban such that in each unit after Surah Hamdi recites 50 times Surah Tawheed, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, then during death his spirit will be removed with ease and his grave will welcome spacious or will become spacious and on the day of Qiyamah when he comes out of his grave his face will be shining bright like a full moon what else do you want? SubhanAllah, that's amazing Four units, not, four four, units. not 40, yeah. four Four units and all you have to do is what? Surah Alhamd, Surah Tawheed 40 How long does it take Surah Tawheed? It doesn't take long I think the, the whole lot will take about what? Five minutes? It's a bargain. That's exactly. a bargain. It's, a bargain. it's one of the easiest amas you can do, and look at look at exactly. the reward that you'll be getting. Yeah, you know, th that's that's the funny thing about all of this, uh, you know, brothers. That end of the day, look look how easy it is. You know, let us think about this hadith, mm -hmm. and let's think about how how easy is it to pray. Does it cost us anything? No. No. Does it cost us money? No. In this month, how many people will go to cinema, spend twelve pound, fifteen yeah. pound on popcorn, and you know, to watch a movie? Exactly. And effectively, I remember uh, Milana Jan Ali Kazmi saying this in a majlis once as well. He goes, I don't understand people. He said, Milana, why don't you understand people? He mm. goes, because these people, they spend money to sin or spend money to waste their time. But when Allah gives you paradise for free, gives mercy for free, you don't want to take it. Exactly. Mm. And this benefits you. It's not as if it's benefiting others, it's benefiting you, yourself. 
I mean, for example, there's a hadith in which it mentions that even if you give half a day in this month as charity, Allah relieves you from the hellfire. Wow. And I've read exactly similar stuff to that this, this month is one of the most blessed months because of all, obviously, all the birthdays of the Holy Personality and the fact that Rasulullah himself has said that in this month, as you, I was going back to the hadith you said before, that all you have to do is just pray very, very small amounts and look at the reward that you're getting. Definitely. Yeah, Allah, Allah blesses us a lot. But unfortunately, you know, we don't like to take these blessings. The uh, problem is we love the risk, but we forget, forget about the raziq, you That's know. True. We, you know, so we love the bounty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give, gives us, but that obviously we bite the hand that feeds us mm -hmm. effectively, isn't it? That we don't really care, you know, Allah is giving it to us, but... And look, at, look how merciful Allah is. And look how merciful Allah is that in this month, you know, you can get all your, de all your negative deeds or your bad deeds wiped away. Mm. Everything can be erased, so you can start like a new, freshly born child. Mm -hmm. But we don't take any of this, you know. We don't I mean, I think it's, it's reported also that if you fast in every day of this month, the angels go back to Allah and say, "Make him like a new child, mm. forgive, for clean him of all his sins." So you can start afresh like that yes. if you wanted to. But for example, I would like to share a hadith by Imam Sadiq um, about fasting in this month, <laughs> in which Muhammad, in which he says that one fast in this month. I mean, it's reported that he heard um, this was reported by the Prophet himself. He would be assured paradise. Mm. One fast in this month. That's how that's how weighty it is to fast in this month. Exactly. And it's, and also the Imam says, whoever keeps a fast in the love of the Prophet and to maintain closeness to Allah, paradise will be assured to him. Now that's the Hadith. Now what do you make of that? What can you make of it? It's, it's simple, isn't it? It's so easy. You know, you don't need a. You don't need a whole uh, one hour mm. majlis on this. It's a very blatant mm. hadith. It's very, very self explanatory where uh, Imam Jabir Sadiq is saying to all to the viewers, that, oh no, to, the, to the believers, <laughs> 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 to all of us, to, every, to all the moments that you know that there's small acts that you can do in this month and they are more beneficial to you than anything that you do in majority but of the But you know what the funny thing about all of this is you don't even have to keep the fast. Why? Because if someone offers you food, it's a mustahab. Absolutely, that's the great. That's and the you get the thawab of the fast as well. Oh, okay, what do you want? It's an easy month. Easy month to gain so many rewards, the bounties of Allah. And inshallah, I think the whole the point is inshallah, people learn from this. And mm -hmm. who, because we're still at the start of the month. Yeah. So people who are still not, not, well, not aware of the benefits, mm -hmm. they can start from today. It's true. They can think, you know what, this Thursday, let's keep a fast. Why not? You want the 15th of Shaban coming up? Why not? Yeah, it's true. Let's make the most of it. Well, inshallah, I think we need to set the viewers no, brother. Do you know what this week's uh, quiz is? I don't, but I'm sure you're <laughs> going to tell me this week's quiz. <laughs> right, this normally, as you all know, we have a quiz which is based around the Holy Quran. But this week, we're making it a bit different because the prize mm. is £50 gift voucher oh. this time, brother. We're, we're doubling it this time. We're doubling it this time. So Allah if you have a chance Allah. of winning that, this week is so easy. All you've got to do, live calls, says at the bottom of the screen, just pick up the phone, dial that number, and recite something beautiful to lighten our hearts. Inshallah, any kasida, any mankabad, there whatever you, you want to recite, you more than happy to. Kasida, just recite something to make us feel happy, may, in, well, enlighten the mood, the mm. atmosphere. Your name will be written down and put into the draw, and inshallah, we'll pick the winner out of this pot at the end of the program, and you'll win that fifty pounds. And those who don't sold. win the prizes, your name is still written by in the in the books of Al Bayt that you've recited a kasida or mankabad in their in their names, and obviously for their reward. And they will surely be listening to it and you know, you'll get the reward from that. So inshallah, brother, I think you need to encourage the viewers out there to pick up the phone today and just recite something just to make us... Yeah, definitely pick up the phone, you know. S some people are not gifted with, you know, beautiful voices. Like myself. And you know, <laughs> exactly. And if you have a beautiful voice, then pick up that phone. You know, share your beautiful recitation with us. Enlighten mm -hmm. our hearts. It's the month of mercy. Mm -hmm. Have mercy on us because we, we want to hear you. We don't want to talk all night. You know, we'll have mercy on you if you do that for us as well. Inshallah. So, you know, Inshallah, just, yeah, call in. You know, it's, it's not like we're all serious. We're, you know, we're, we're enjoying ourselves the month of Sha'ban. So, you know, bring in the happiness, Inshallah. Definitely. So, pick up the phone, ring in. You know what? I'm going to kick things off. I'm going to recite a quick mankabat um, by, we we'll recite by Mir Hassan Mir and um, Hakka Irfan. So, Inshallah, after a loud salawat, we'll recite this and then we'll go on to a little five minute break. Inshallah, we'll be back again. After loud salawat, Allah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Go help me, brothers, yeah? Inshallah, brother. Hakka irfan jo paya to Ali yadaya. Hakka irfan jo paya to Ali yadaya. 
دل میں قرآن سمایا تو علی یاد آیا حق عرفان جو پایا تو علی یاد آیا آدم و نوح و پیمبر ہو یا حضرت عیسیٰ یونس و خضر ہو علیاس یا حضرت موسیٰ وقت ان پر بھی جو آیا تو علی یاد آیا حق عرفان جو پایا تو علی یاد آیا اپنا کچھ ہوش نہ تھا اتنی پریشانی تھی غم دنیا نے مجھے گھیر لیا تھا پھر بھی ہاتھ مومن سے ملایا تو علی یاد آیا حق عرفان جو پایا تو علی یاد آیا صلوات اللہ علیہ وسلم انشاءاللہ السلام علیکم ہم کالنگ ہے کالنگ فرم What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, my name is Mariam and I'm calling from London. MashaAllah, yeah, London. Brothers in the back, can we have a pen please? What's your name again? Mariam from Mariam. London. Mariam, Mariam from, from London. London. And are you going to recite for us today, inshallah? Me and my sister would like to read something. Inshallah, please, bismillah, bismillah. You and Abbas <laughs> and the Sajjad are at last. Sharing the way You and Abbas And the Sajjad Ahi Atlas Sharing the way We will dream O Nabi Then Diyara We will dream O Nabi Then Diyara We began to Go to the hot song It will go far When they had you Even the cool Would not be clean Knowing the truth Ran away soon, we began to build the hot soul. It is full on fire when they heard you. Even a cruel we would not be keen, knowing the truth. Ran away soon, even a cruel we would not be keen, knowing the truth. Ran away soon, they'll come back so they can't see you overstay. Thank you for your call, Sister Mariam from London. What a beautiful thing. And they seem quite young and you know, it's very enthusiastic. Amazing. That's how you want to kick off the show. What more call is like that? We have another call. I think they say we need to delay the break a bit. People start to call now. They want to join okay. in, inshallah. Why not? Come on. Come on. Come on. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Assalamu alaikum. Ya Ali Madad. Wa alaikum salam. I'm Dina Batul and I'm calling from Leicester. And I want to recite her kasida of Bibi Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Salawat. Allah Zuman salla ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ajil farajahum. Ya Zahra, ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ya Zahra, ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمالي روح الكمالي يا زهرة يا زهرة فلاور غالي يا حورة يا حورة دلع رغنبي أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمالي روح الكمالي زونا عن أهل دوت الصفتا هواياتين The best of dot is given to أم المؤمنين We ask you to intercede for us on قياما So that with you we may also enter Jannah On this day for surely victorious will be Say for 
عندها صايا through his mercy أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمالي روح الكمالي يا زهرة يا زهرة flower of Ali يا حورة يا حورة delight of Nabi يا زهرة يا زهرة flower of Ali يا حورة يا حورة delight of Nabi أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمالي روح الكمالي The best of the woman to have worked on this earth You deserve the best of husbands equal to your worth He was known as a good and a sad Allah The one who gave charity while he was in Kuala Ya Haydar, Ya Haydar, Bab al Madina. Blessed he was to be born in the Kaaba. Ummu al-Imma, bint al-Khadija. Ummu al-Imma, bint al-Khadija. Ruh al-Kamali, Ruh al-Kamali. Ya Zahra, Ya Zahra, flower of Ali. Ya Hawra, Ya Hawra, delight of Nabi. Ummu al-Imma, bint al-Khadija. أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمالي روح الكمالي visiting you in Baqi is one wish that we like knowing then you will visit us the day that we die Sayyida we ask Allah through your son Hussain that with Imam Al-Hujjah the right path we attain Ya Mahdi Ya Mahdi bring back the truth يا بن الزهرة مهدي أنا عليه فوتود أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة أم الأئمة بنت الخديجة روح الكمالي روح الكمالي روح الكمالي Thank you Allah Thank you Thank you so much I think you've had two winners already there. Wow, that, you are all winner in my eyes. That's it. You know what, Marsha is fantastic. Beautiful, they are really beautiful making, voice. They're really creating the best atmosphere for this program today. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Look Marsha. at the voice and look at such, such beautiful the ages, voice. Youth ringing in Allah. May Allah increase your love for the Arab bed, inshallah. And give, in, in make your voices even more beautiful, inshallah. Fantastic inshallah. to hear May that. you get the reward in this world and the hereafter. I mean, I'd like to look at this from a different angle as well. You, well, um, getting the most out of this month. Obviously, obviously, there's a lot of students out there today mm -hmm. doing their GCSEs. They've got e exams in universities. A very stressful period. We've been through ourselves yeah, doing yeah, exams. Yeah. We can understand how stressful this can become. Now, look, for example, if you fast on a Thursday in this month, you will, you will, your 20 of your worldly wishes and the uh, 20 uh, wishes for the hereafter come true. So if you fast on a Thursday this month and ask Allah, look, may Allah give me success in all my exams in uh, in this month or next month, don't want to come true. Yeah, it's true. And on top of that, fasting also helps uh, the metabolism, yes. and also it helps concentration as well, because obviously you don't think about other things. You don't, you know, you can focus on something that you want to focus on. Mm -hmm. So you know, there's there's so many benefits to fasting, but mashallah, you know, the hadith that you mentioned, obviously, twenty worldly benefits. Obviously, there's got to be legitimate desires. Mm -hmm. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's Masha the main thing. Mashallah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, look, it's so easy. Other what tips? What other tips have you got, brother? For people who are in exams right now, stressed out right now, e eating away, thinking, oh my, I've got to remember all this. I've got an exam on Monday. How do we relieve the stress and make yeah. the most of this month? That's you know, like I said, you know, this is the month of mercy. You know, you have to go to the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and knock mm -hmm. you know it's got sometimes you're going to knock once and you might not get a reply but you got to keep knocking because someone you know Allah is there he's testing you but this this is the month of Rasulullah and use use for example the methods that Rasulullah has taught us for example when you want to gain your hajat in, in other, other months these things may or may not work mm -hmm. But in the month of mercy, the month of the Prophet, the month of Ramadan, Rajab and Sha'ban, indeed this month, things like this work. For example, reading a four rakat salah. You read this four rakat salah, not the one that I mentioned, but another one I'm going to tell you now. Surah Alhamd in the first rakat, then 
uh, 11 times Surah Tawheed and then each time you increase it by 10. So Surah Al-Hamd 11 times, Surah Al-Hamd 21 times, 31 times, 41 times and once you finish that, you finish your prayers 51 times Salawat of Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad and then go into sujood 100 times say Ya Allah and then ask for your hajat and inshallah it'll come true. I think good. reciting salawat itself in this month is such a big thing. You have to understand what, what do we get from reciting a salawat? People think it's just just words that you're reciting. Is that what, what are the benefits of that? There's so many benefits of salawat, you know, like they say if you read salawat, all your hajat that you want in this world come true. And generally, you know, when you say salawat, they say when you say a salawat, it goes up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, goes up through the angels and they, they send blessings on you. It's exactly, it's like a glass of water, you fill that glass up, all the way to the top, what's going to happen when it gets to the top, it's going to flow back down. Exactly. It's going to come back out, so the blessings come mm. back to us. Exactly. So it's so easy to do that. It's, uh, you know what, it's, people make Islam a very difficult, it's not difficult, it's very simple. You know, the things are there set in stone. You do this, you will gain this. Simple as that. There's no two ways about it. But the problem is we're too lazy to get up. We'd rather sit there, watch television and waste our time. Because that's the truth. You know, for example, there was the French Open today. Many people mm -hmm. just sat there for three, two, two, three and a half hours watching Djokovic and Nadal hit the ball back and forward, back and forward. And we're all guilty of it. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we're perfect and you know, mm -hmm. we're here. We're all guilty of it. But this is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. You have to make sacrifices. If you're willing to make those sacrifices, then you'll be where you want to be. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to make those sacrifices, Masha, you're a pharmacist. You know, if you didn't make the sacrifices, then you wouldn't be where you are today. So likewise, in, in the month of Sha'ban, this is the best time to make sacrifices. Exactly. Best times, you know, do your another this month. So see, at the end of the day, you prepare for next month now. Next month will be so much easier. Exactly. Especially in the country that we're living in, Brother Hamza. Absolutely. Look, look at that look long hours that Rose are this month, this year, for example. Yeah. The 19, 20 hour fast. I mean, for some people, that might sound, oh my day, how am I going to do this? Yeah. But if you start now, it's only one month away. You okay. start now, you, you, your body will be get used to fasting for next month, so you won't feel it as much. Yeah, it's true. So it's not, I think we have a caller, brother. Asalaamu Alaikum, what's your name and where are you calling from? <coughs> Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum, you live on name, what's your name and where are you calling from? Asalaamu Alaikum, what's your name and where are you calling from? Brother mm -hmm. said call is on hold, I think they're still on hold, <laughs> but okay. inshallah we'll get them soon. Inshallah. But yeah brother, I mean, I mean I'll also like to ask, um, that look, the Imam was asked what are the best deeds in this month and the Imam said alms giving, giving, uh, charity, giving charity yeah. and secondly seeking forgiveness because mm -hmm. it's a great month. Unto mercy. But now I would like to ask is that how, what is the method of uh, seeking forgiveness? But before we go into that inshallah we want to take a call, is that okay? Yeah sure. As alaikum, what's your name, where are you calling from? Yes, please start. Bismillah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Thank you. 
Thank you, and I will say and loud Nara Hadri for the Nara Hadri. Ali. Love is. Thank you, my sister. And he's our Fatima. I've got one problem with all of this. Okay. Three girls, no boys. So far, no boys. Well, Zan has read. I recite. I think Zan is writing for all of us in the studio. That's cheating. No, he's he's recited for all of us in the studio, but we need more boys from the viewers. Well, we need everyone to ring. We've only got three calls. That's it. We've sure we've had about 10, 15 calls by now. It's an easy competition. All you got to do is recite something in the love of Ali Muhammad. How hard is that? Exactly. Everyone wants to recite on stage, but you know when it comes to recite from a TV because they can't see you. You know. Yeah, very clever, very clever. Inshallah, I think we'll take a short break, brothers, and inshallah we'll be back very soon. So keep tuned in, and we'll be back in a few minutes, inshallah. 